This is the cold cut Cobra system that we recently acquired from overseas. We are actually the first fire department in the United States to have one of these systems and we'll be implementing it soon. We got this system because we believe it's going to be a game changer with fighting electric vehicle fires. The big challenge with electric vehicle fires is they're encased in steel and they're generally underneath the floorboards of most vehicles. This system will actually help us penetrate that steel and get inside that battery pack to distribute water and stop the thermal runaway that takes place when those batteries ignite. It's, it's a traditional uh, firefighting uh, tool back in Europe, Sweden and the Nordic countries and the UK. It's widely used, installed in fire apparatus uh, all over the countries. A couple of years ago, uh, we started to investigate and do uh, uh, scientific research around these type of problem fires. And uh, from that, develop a method of how to handle and stop the propagation in an, uh, an EV fire. In the actual chemistry of the battery, it's an oxidizer, so it produces its own oxygen. So even cutting off the oxygen with a blanket or a tank of water, the battery's still going to burn. Okay, imagine my phone is my battery pack in the underneath of the vehicle. I can put water into the vehicle, it's not going to get into the battery pack. To stop that thermal runaway, I need to pierce through the battery pack and get water flowing through that battery pack. Cobra at UHPL does that beautifully because it'll pierce through any building material known to man. It'll pierce through steel relatively quickly. I can get water into that battery pack to flow through, taking the heat energy out of the fire and extinguishing the fire that way. Electric vehicles are coming more and more prevalent on our roadways daily. We have had encounters with electric vehicle fires already in our neighboring cities. The environmental impact that something like this will have greatly reduces any of the poisonous gases that are taking place as well as uh, the contamination from that thermal runway getting into uh, any water sources. It usually takes a long time uh, to extinguish these type of fires. It can be up to several hours and using a lot of gallons of water. Uh, what the test shows us is that we can stop this uh, propagation within uh, five to ten minutes using as little as up to two, three hundred gallons of water. Uh, so it's extremely efficient for the firefighters. Going forward into the future, we're going to purchase more of these and put them in the back so that they're on all the apparatus within the city.